Okay, cool. So what I want to do is just kind of walk through the Fire Hot Leads program, uh, what we're doing, how we're doing it, and why it's important to you and how it will, how it will make a difference. So um, are, you, uh, are you doing any kind of marketing right now? Well, yeah, we do our you know, general. We spend a lot on uh, the internet, uh, direct mail. That's about it right there. Okay, cool. All right, so the idea here is, <clears throat> is right now, and we'll mainly focus on uh, HVAC, but you do plumbing as well, is that right? Yes, we do. Okay, cool. So we can do it for both of those services. So right now, the, the general idea is there, there are hundreds of people searching for HVAC and plumbing jobs in your area right now. And they're not searching a solution, like just looking you up. They're searching a problem, right? Something that's happening, some examples below are no heat, or the AC is blowing hot air, or tune-up or routine maintenance, clogged drain, leaking water heater, no water. Those are all really common calls. And they're yeah. also very common for people to look up as far as like, hey, this problem's happening. Let me just kind of first look it up and see what's going on and see if I can figure it out and then get some information about it and then ultimately decide to either try to fix it themselves or obviously have someone else fix it, okay? So there yeah. are hundreds of people searching every day in your area. Can you tell me who they are by name? Oh, hell no. <laughs> okay, we can. Our technology allows us to not only know their name, their email, their phone number, their address, everything. We already know who they are, we know where they're at, and we know how to reach them, okay? Wow. So, yeah, so imagine you're in a stadium full of people. Let's say we're in Ohio, and it's 100,000 plus people in a college football game, right? So you're in that stadium, and only 300 of these people are ready to buy HVAC or plumbing, okay? Well, the problem with traditional marketing, any kind of marketing you're doing now, digital marketing, pay-per-click, Facebook display ads, the problem with that is they're marketing to the whole stadium. But it's a massive waste of time, effort, and money because if only 300 are ready to buy, the other 97% is just is a total waste, right? So what we're able to do is actually tell you who those people are and when we now do the marketing for you, we only market to the people that are already ready to buy. Okay. So you can imagine we can reduce pay-per-click usually around 70 to 75% really quickly. Our click-through rate and all of our stuff goes from like one or two or 3%. We're like, oh my gosh, we got 3% up to around 40%, sometimes higher. And we're able to actually just pull them in right when it's very first hot, right when it's fresh and establish you as the expert before anyone else. Even if they've used another company, they may not think of that company as the specific problem that they have, right? For you, it's like, oh, that's under plumbing. Oh, that's under HVAC. For them, it's just the problem. They don't know it's under that. They don't know to go to a specific company necessarily for a problem. So we start corralling and pulling all of that in for you. So the idea of paying to the whole market, to, to the entire stadium right now, huge waste of time, huge waste of money. All the money, like it's fairly helpful to at least market, but when it's going to the 97% of people that don't even care and, don't, and aren't ready to buy, that's when it becomes incredibly wasteful. So Facebook and Google also control who you show your ads to. So you can, you can market and, and, and use those platforms all you want, but they control who sees them. Okay, that's the problem is you have no control over who sees them, they do. Okay. So, so here's the deal. So there's 3% of the market right now that's analyzing buying phases, researching the problem, looking, they wanna, they wanna do something, they wanna take action, but they're not sure yet which action to take. Or they may just be like starting to go toward one of the companies they've already used but what we do is capture them before they make a final decision on who they're going to buy from. And in doing that, we're able to market only to that top 3%. So we cut out all the dead wood, the 7%, the 30%, the 30%, the 30% for all these other areas, open to buying but not looking, not thinking about it, think they aren't interested, know they aren't interested. We cut out all the dead wood and only target that top 3% and then build tremendous messaging around that. So for example, Greg, in the last 24 hours, you've probably seen 100 ads. How many do you remember? Uh, zero. 
<laughs> That's all wasteful marketing. Yeah. Okay? And a whole bunch of money was spent on those ads. And that's what I'm talking about is we're going to take all that away. We're going to eliminate all that. So all the marketing from here on out is only focused on the top 3%. Okay. Yeah. So you only pay to market to the people that are ready to buy. And in doing that, you don't even have to have as much ad spend. Right. Mm -hmm. And, and that's the idea is it's like, Hey, from now on, we're going to be a hundred percent efficient in who we market to before we were 3% efficient. Now the technology is going to allow us to be a hundred percent. Okay. So yeah. here's what we do. We're going to get you the leads, right? So proprietary technology will watch the online behavior, see when they're searching for problems and find people that are ready to buy right now. And we'll get display ads and pay-per-click and all kinds of stuff in front of them. We can do other channels as well. I'll show you that in just a minute. And we literally bring the leads straight into your shop as a phone call. Now here's the beautiful part. Everyone else is marketing to the whole stadium, right? Yep. So the competitors are going to pay for the lead and right as they're heading toward the bait and about to, to snatch it, we're going to snatch the fish from them and take it. They're going to start paying for the leads. We're going to start taking the leads right before they bite. And that's what we're designed to do because these people, these customers we're bringing aren't coming out of the sea. Yeah. Right? We're going to take these from competitors all around you. So we'll snatch them up. We'll bring them to you. When the CSR, your call takers, your office, when they answer the phone, they're going to hear a whisper in their ear that says, fire hot lead. And they'll know, hey, sit up straighter, breathe a little stronger, show a little more passion, get a little more excited. This, these people are ready to go right now. Okay. Yeah. So we can reach them. Um, we usually start in campaigns on Facebook and Google, usually, not always. But we can reach them anywhere at any time. So when we find these people that are ready to go, we can reach them omni-channel, which is Google. That's the pay-per-click stuff, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. We can call them with a phone. We can send a direct mailer like you were mentioning. So what would it be like if you could only direct mail people that were ready to buy right now and that was it? What would that do? Yeah. <laughs> Are you with me? Yeah. I am. Email them. We could knock on their door, right? So let's see your service in the area. And we've got a list showing certain people are available in that area and that want your services. How easy would it be to finish up a job and then head over and just stop in front of the house, knock on the door and say, hey, Mrs. Jones, I'm sorry to bother you. We're in the neighborhood. We just worked with Tim down the street. Uh, we finished early. We love to finish early. We love to do great jobs. Just was wondering while we're out here, while I'm out here, if there's any questions you had or anything else going on. You're kidding me. I've been searching about this for the last few days. Yes. Right. And it's so powerful. Now we typically encourage you to warm them up a little first with some display ads before you knock on the door, but you could, if you wanted to, you get the idea. Right. And so that's the idea is we can literally reach them anywhere at any time. If they log into their Gmail or Yahoo Mail or whatever, we can put that uh, ads there as well. Yeah. So that's the first part. The second part is we're going to start learning your current client's behavior. So every 30 days, you're going to send us a new customer list. So these are all my new customers over the last 30 days for all the services, right? Just all your new customers into your shop. What we're going to do is put that up into our technology, which uses artificial intelligence, so AI and machine learning. And we're actually going to go back in time and we're going to look at what they did before they bought from you. What did they search for? What were their behaviors? Which places did they visit? And what happens is we start seeing a pattern. What you know is like once they call you, you know exactly the sales process. But before they call you, do you know what they're doing, what they're searching for, where they're going? That's pretty freaky. <laughs> you do now, right? And it's big data, so we don't really zone in on specific people unless it's relevant for us. Right. But in your service area, what we're going to look for is we're going to look at what all your customers are doing. And then we're going to figure out what their buying patterns are. And we're going to match that up, tell you what your real sales process is like, how long it really is from the time of contact till the time of the phone call. And then we're going to go find other people that start to act like them. OK, so in Facebook, if you're familiar, you could upload a customer list and create a lookalike audience. That's cool but it has to have the right email address on Facebook. Maybe they use it with you, but they use a different one on Facebook. 
Mm -hmm. And it also is still dependent on who Facebook chooses to show it to. They, they don't have to show it to everyone you upload a request. What we do is we, we actually figure out who the person is and use a unique identifier. So when we upload our list into Facebook, they already know exactly who they are and it goes straight to them only. And with the universal code that we use, because all the platforms use the same code, Right, and our leads speak that code. So the easiest way to say that is, even if you're using a different email address on YouTube, a different email address on Facebook, a different email address on Instagram, I still find you and market to you. Okay. And that's the idea. And now, as soon as I see you start to behave like our like our customers do, I'm in front of you. I know you're going to buy before you do. <laughs> right. So as soon as someone starts to act like your customer, we're going to snatch them up, bring them to you. Your CSRs will hear that fire hot lead whispered into their ears if a call comes in. And now we start machine learning in your area. And each month it just gets more and more powerful because we keep looking at anybody that came into your shop as a customer that we didn't bring in. Mm -hmm. And we start learning about them too. Okay. So the combo of bringing you leads and finding others who behave like your customer is gonna give you not only more profitable tools, but total market domination. Now we can literally get in front of anybody who's ready to buy and establish you as the expert before any of your competition even knows they're ready. And guess what? Our data tells us, Greg, that right now, people are not brand loyal. They will go somewhere else if they have a better experience. So yeah. we can use that to our advantage by pulling them in, giving them a better experience and win them over regardless of who they've been with, even if they've been with them for 20 years, okay? Yeah. So our prediction engine, it's like we have a smart pixel of every website that can predict when someone's gonna buy, okay? So I don't know how much you get into marketing, but essentially we put, there's a pixel on your website where when people visit it, we see which page they're going to, we see who they are, and we also see how much time they spend on each page, right? but you have no vision into where they came from and you have no vision into where they're going. So would it help on like, uh, you know, the, the click out rate on people that we could, uh, let's say somebody clicks on our website and then they click out They're They're looking for a service company, but they click out cause they didn't like our website for any particular reason. Would we get a lead on that? Then they missed Mr. Jones clicked on stayed two minutes and clicked out and this is their phone number and stuff like that. If you want to reach out to them, yeah, not only would we be working on them, but we'd give them different messaging. That's really it wouldn't cool. be the same generic messaging that got them there. Yeah. The messaging would then change to bring them back or to pull them into a funnel where they don't even know it's your company. Yeah. They like it, they get the experience, and pretty soon they're on the phone with you without even knowing it was the same website. Now, here's what's crazy. I love that question. I can also do that with all of your competitors. That's okay? it. I can see when they visit your competitor's website. All of my competitors or just? All of them. All of them. If they're in HVAC or plumbing, I'm seeing them. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> so what I could do is pop a, a, a display ad that's no logo uh -huh. in front of them on your competitor's website. They click on it and I pull them into your funnel and into your shop. Wow. <laughs> this is what... Uh, this is what the warrior was getting so excited about, right? So, so, so that's what we're doing. Now, it takes a while. It, it usually takes three months to really start hopping on this. Mm -hmm. but it could happen sooner, right? But we just say give it like three months. And if your market, if we figure out your market faster, it's just, but all of this stuff's going to be going on in the background as soon as we start working with you. So you got this path to purchase. You got the conversion profile. And then we bring them in as an in-market or fire hot lead. And then we smart pixel them. So what we do is start taking all of the people in your area that are searching mm -hmm. and pull them into this loop so they don't go anywhere else. Yeah, that's so cool. Crazy, right? Yeah. Cool. So awesome. here are the advantages. Number one, you decide. We market to them on any platform uh, whenever we want. Uh, we don't have to rely on Facebook and Google. We'll use Facebook and Google. But when I upload my hash file into Facebook and Google, because mm -hmm. I have their unique identifier, it will find you regardless of the phone number or email that you use. In fact, you could create a fake profile on it and I'll still find you, okay? 
And then it's got a lower cost per click and lower ad cost. We're looking to drop whatever you're co it's costing you now. We're look looking to drop that by 70 to 75%. Now, sometimes it takes a few months to kind of really dial that in and see that. Yeah. But when it starts popping, you're going to feel it, and it's, it's really strong. We're looking for higher click-throughs. Mm -hmm. So right now, a successful campaign in our industry is like 2% click-through. Yeah. We're seeing right now, Greg, we're seeing a 40% click-through and sometimes greater on our campaigns. Wow. And that's only because we're really bringing in people that are only ready to buy, and we have a technology that none of your competition has. Plus, we're going to let you lock out your service area so no one else in your area can use it. So, you I ask you another question while it's on top of my head. Would this also, um, I'm sure you've heard of, you know, companies that have their own avatar and their own people that they look for. Because uh, we don't want the, the tire kickers. We want the ones that buy the car, right? Right. Would this do that? Yes. Like, yeah. this is just we see that you are calling every company in the world and uh, does it have any background on the people like their financial um, status that where they live their type of home and all that wonderful stuff yeah it does and that's a great question I love that question and we, we get that every once in a while not everyone's savvy enough to ask that but it's a really important question so let me put it this way have you advertised on Facebook before yes Okay, so what happens on Facebook is you literally only have access to 80% of the people on the platform. Anyone that makes 100000 or more, which is 20% of Facebook, you cannot market to. Really? Yeah, really. And the reason why is because if they get saturated with ads, those people will leave the platform and leave Facebook. And Facebook doesn't want them to leave. They want to keep the high income earners. Yep. So they protect them. Wow. Okay. What's going to happen when we start kicking this into full gear and start lasering it on your market, we're going to find these people. We're going to get their unique identifier with our technology. And when we upload that hash file into Facebook, we're not only going to go to that 20% of income earners, we're going to go to the top 3% of the 20% who are ready to buy right now. And because we have this code and because we can upload a list like this, we're actually able to market to whoever we want. Because when we have this kind of data, Facebook sees that and is like, okay, they have the data. They already know it's relevant and it's, 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 it's data that we know where they're in market right now. So we're allowed to market to them. Okay, cool. Same, same with Google. Right, so instead of relying on hopefully they'll show it to the right people, which is gonna end up being a lot of those tire kickers, like you said, because they do not make money when you convert a customer. They make money off of clicks and they make money off of getting you to run more ads. So yeah. whatever they can do to get you to spend more or run more ads and just get a bunch of clicks, and you've seen Google's like really expensive right now. Some are paying 20, 30, 60 dollars a click, and Facebook isn't as expensive, but it's going there. Yeah. Right? We're seeing it change and, and head there. And so what we're going to do is not only drop those costs down tremendously, but we're only going to target to the people that want it and we can get to the high income earners and market to them as well. Great question. So the idea here is, is your competitor pays for the leads and you get to snatch them when they're ready. They're literally going to do all that and spend marketing into the whole stadium. And as soon as it, well, let's say the marketing gets someone to get interested. As soon as they start showing that behavior, we're going to take them. <laughs> Anyone that doesn't get interested from their marketing, we're just going to leave them alone. So you now get to target your competitors' customers when they're ready to buy. That's so cool. And this is what's great is if you call out and check in on your customers, a lot of times you're like, Mrs. Jones, why did you get the water heater from so-and-so? We do that. Oh, I didn't know. So we're actually going to target your customers too. Because when we see them searching, we can keep them in-house and in your shop instead of going out to another one because they're like, oh, I didn't know you guys do that. So we're going to be working on that as well in the background. So we... we they do electrical and uh, handyman or uh, home automation, you can do any of that, right? We're not as dialed in on electrical and handyman stuff yet. We're, we're very dialed in on HVAC and plumbing. Gotcha. But... 
what we could do is work on club memberships with your customers mm -hmm. and build some messaging around that to keep them in house for all that other stuff that you offer. So what you could do is on our, um, when we do a, a, an onboarding form, you'll just put those other services that you do as well. And we will build that in your campaign. And then we can start working on electrical and handyman in your area. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll just build that up as we go, but we'll obviously be rocking the HVAC and plumbing right from the get go. Awesome. Cool. So I'm on a mission. Uh, I want to turn people into market leaders. I want them to have total market domination that obviously aligns with the, with the group that we're, we're in. And, uh, and we have an agreement where it's a uh, one client per area policy. So no one else will be able to do this, use this, work with us. Uh, it'll just be you. That's cool. Yeah. So uh, exciting stuff, right? So we're super excited. Um, what we'd like to do is um, I'll go ahead and uh, tell you what it costs now. Okay. 